you have to really kind of start from the beginning and say, hey, how do I, what do I want my business to be? How do I want it to run? And what are the benefits of being local? And what are the trade-offs? Sure, it's a little bit more expensive, but we, we balance that trade-off with, I have no finished goods inventory here. I am not worried about the end of the season. I was always worried about the end of the season at my last company. Why? Because I had a lot of product in my stock room and I knew it wasn't all going to sell. I was going to have to close it out. I was going to have to dump it into places in the market that I hope no one would see it. And I would <laughs> risk that people would see it and then they would blog about it. Uh. And we had that happen. <laughs> hey, you know, your brand's on sale at Target. <laughs> I think that um, the opportunity here is for companies that may feel it but not know how to express it is this is a branding platform to help you do that. And we, we have many discussions to help companies who say, yeah, you know what, I'm, I'm here for all the same reasons you are. I'm engaged in all the same things you are, but I'm not promoting it. Um, well, you should, because some people won't care, and that's okay, you know? But other people will, and they'll say, wow, that's really interesting, I never really thought about that. You really, you really manufacture stuff here. You know, we're not a trade association. We're here to help San Francisco build um, some of the, you know, build some of this infrastructure, whether it's rebuilding something that, that used to exist or building something new. Um, but it's innovation. It's just innovation in a way that, you know, Silicon Valley thinks about innovation in a different way than we think about innovation. Well, I think Dodo Case is a, a great example where there is a binder here who can do what they do. The, the, most people go off to Hong Kong or mainly China to do what they do. You know, I'll go find an agent, we'll just make this stuff in China and I'll move boxes and it'll all be good. But um, I think you guys have, uh, like, like, kind of like me, you're, you're into the craft, craftsmanship and the artisanal manufacturing and you have a notion that, you know, bookbinding shouldn't disappear entirely in San Francisco if it still exists. Maybe we can jumpstart it a little bit. This is a perfect example of a, of a company that started from scratch not very long ago, months ago, and is now, uh, you know, revitalized a little company around the corner here, a binding company. That's fantastic. Those are the stories uh, of this kind of economic development. The other thing I will, I can encourage you to do is throw the doors open, okay? That gate right there is open 12 hours a day here. And people come into our factory and see what we are doing. It is powerful. We take it for granted today. We've, we've basically dehumanized the act of making things because we've, you know, we outsource everything and nobody really thinks about it. You know, I, I have been to the factories where they weave fabric, where they extrude fiber to make yarn, to weave fabric. I saw that machine just ticking away, making that fabric. Um, it's mechanical, but still, it gives, you a, it gives you a sense for how things are made. When you see people physically making things, I think it's, um, it's a powerful, a really powerful thing. I like to call it the rehumanizing of manufacturing. When you what is important is the authenticity. And, uh, and that sort of direct connection. Just yesterday, we had a customer who had, you know, we were talking about a corporate job, and he wanted to know, well, what about embroidery and all this kind of stuff? I just finally said, you know, I, I, my thing, I type too slow. I, I learned to type with two fingers. So we go in here to the store, set up a few things. I do one take, three minute video, ship it off to him over Vimeo, and about a half hour later, we get a phone call. That is awesome. You know, first, he's never met me. Now he's met me. Um, he's just had an introduction to our products with a video. Feels a very personal connection to what we're doing, and now we're having a, a dialogue, and we've cut through a lot of stuff um, because show and tell is a lot easier than writing about. And and so, if you take anything away from here, uh, well, two things. SF Made is is a great platform. If it applies to your business, by all means, embrace it, and we'll be happy to tell you more how to do that. And the second thing is start using video on your website. I don't care what your business is. It's a way for people to connect to you over the internet, over geographic boundaries, over time zones, you name it, and it is a fantastic tool. Yeah.